I'm Olivia Price and I've recently come back from the Olympics competing in the women's match racing class and we won the silver medal. We campaigned for four years in these boats. We trained specifically for these boats for windy conditions like Weymouth was supposed to be and um, we really just gave it all directly for the Elliott regattas. You have to keep clear. We um, would train here in Sydney over summer. A month or so traveling around Australia to Perth and to Canberra and to Melbourne. We'd spend maybe a month in America, three or four months in Europe. And Lucinda and Nina, they are my best friends. We really gave it everything together. We lived in each other's pockets for so many years and we enjoyed each other's company. We spent time off together and it's ultimately, I think, a big factor in us winning a silver medal and also the support from the Australian sailing team and all the support staff. It really was second to none. Well, look at that. And here goes Australia. Can they tack and cross? Can they clear? Oh, yeah. Just about. Very close indeed. Doesn't look like, like the Portuguese. To win the round robin undefeated was something that I never could have imagined. It was really something that we didn't aim for, but it came out being a positive for us to come first in the round robin and then to race against eight in the quarterfinals and then to go on from that. We were really happy with the way that we set up our regatta. This is great news for Australia. But Australia have clawed their way right back into this match. The crowds were cheering for us and to be right in front of the crowds was just amazing. The final day, we knew what the conditions we were going to be like. We'd raced the Spanish previously in those conditions and we knew exactly what their boat setup was going to be like and how their approach was. So really, it was going to be a tough match. Um, the third race when I fell out was such a shock. I didn't really know what was happening. I think I was on autopilot and just swam towards the boat as hard as I could and really gave it everything after that. The girls pulled me into line and we focused on the next race and took each step as it came. The fourth race we came back quite strong and really um, put it to them, showed that we weren't going to give up. in the final race. Unfortunately, we got a penalty. From that bottom mark, green flag from the umpire. No, the Australian's about to attack away. They've got to get back. Blue flag, penalty. Penalty against Australia. Got in the wrong um, place, tactically wise. We've got two penalties. We still didn't give up. The Spanish sailed so well and we really gave it everything we had. Boy, that is the final boy before the downwind slide to the finish. But it is a Spanish team that lead around the top mark. And we couldn't be prouder of what, we did, what we've achieved. Come on now, here they come for the gold medal! OK, just completing their penalty in a very sporting manner. The silver medal, Nina Curtis. We got a silver medal. We didn't get gold, but we're still happy with the way we performed. Standing on that podium was something I really can't describe to you. It was amazing to see my family in the crowd and see everyone supporting us. It was amazing. Des Moines Sailing Club was a massive influence in my sailing career. I sailed flying 11 tier for a long time, but previously I had spent a lot of time down here. I knew everyone here. Because I just live up the road in Des Moines, it was the easiest place to come down and look at the water and go sailing on Dad's yacht. Smooth, Dale. Smooth, smooth. Keep it smooth. Yeah, awesome. Because I did so much of what you said. <laughs> it's really been an amazing experience. Yes, Olivia, thank you very much, Daddy. <laughs> I really can't remember when I first joined here. I remember at the old sailing club when um, it was just here. Uh, I remember being there maybe when I was five or six years old, running around with a whole lot of friends that are still sailing and I'm still friends with.
The Flying Eleven is where I really developed my sailing career and I started sailing them here. It was where I started to understand tactics and reading the wind and I sailed with Elizabeth Jones here. We did some great results here and um, in 2006 and 2007 we uh, we took the club championship and the club point score. Okay, set up! The trickiness between these islands is something that you can't train your eye in open seas. That picking the shifts has just been amazing, especially um, sailing on the north in Weymouth was shifty and underneath a cliff, underneath a break wall. So sailing in between these islands was really the perfect practice. Get that weight up early. That's better, that's good. Go on, tight reach, go, go, go. The junior sailing program here has been amazing. I've seen it develop over the past 10 years. It's been such a dramatic increase in numbers and um, in, in result champions. Not too far up, I think you had to sail past the line exactly the club has a great uh, family-like atmosphere. Everyone's always felt welcome and the social scene here is really good. It's amazing to realise that the club's 100 years old. I could not have imagined taking so much from this experience. I've learnt so much about life, sailing, relationships, personal friendships, the environment. I really can't stop learning and I'm looking forward to Rio 2016 and I'm going to give it a go in the women's 49er FX. Yeah.